Welcome back all UF1 2011 fans. This is Jack Acid bringing you the third episode of I Am No Expert following the uh, first season of Career Mode in F1 2011 by Codemasters. And you'll notice some format changes in this episode. I've actually decided to only do commentary for condensed versions of the races, which is what you're watching here. I'll explain more of that in a minute, but first we have to take a look at a little incident in Q2. Little incident. Boss isn't going to be happy about that, but at least I was in Q2, so... Um, didn't absolutely kill me, and actually probably only cost me a couple of positions from where I would have qualified if I had actually set some more times. Nice little overcast for race day, but no rain uh, in the forecast, so that shouldn't be a factor need to finish 10th in order to uh, make the team happy so we're going to take a quick look at the starting grid Sebastian Vettel on pole again with McLaren right behind and there I am in P16 to start the race my teammate uh, Adrian is uh, running 18th take a quick look at the setup here I believe I actually have two setups for this race and you're looking at the second one and I'm pretty sure I got this off race department forums, which uh, is what pro probably where most people get setups from, unless they know what they're doing or have other resources. So uh, feel free to pause the uh, video if you need to take a look at that. It's actually uh, a nice setup, at least in non-race times, uh, but we'll see if there's much of an impact. I'm going to go ahead and start on the prime tires uh, to see if I can leapfrog the leaders. I've been doing that tactic so far all season and it's been working out pretty well so I'm going to stick with that. And this race in particular is a little bit of a milestone for me. Um, back in uh, F1 2010 days I told myself that I would love to work up to the point where I was racing with no line, uh, no braking line, uh, using manual gears and cockpit view. And this is the first race where I'm actually attempting to do that. Um, I've started using cockpit view um, basically just in practice and qualifying, um, doing some testing and things like that, sort of getting relearning the tracks. Um, it does take relearning the tracks. It sets you back uh, when you first start just because the visibility is so much different. I'm sure the Turkish Grand Prix is going to be challenging just given how many elevation changes there are probably going to take me a while to relearn the circuit but you know that's also part of the fun and uh, maintaining the challenge of this game is to um, you know keep removing the assists, keep challenging yourself pushing yourself a little bit further and it's like you're starting over a little bit um, but in a, a you know in a fun way plus there's a lot of advantages to cockpit view that I can tell first of all it feels like the car is more stable I feel like I have better control over it, although I am using a 360 controller, so um, that could be, you know, part of why it feels that way to me. The other thing, speaking of which, as we come up here at the end of this long straight, is that the braking feels a little bit different to me, um, but that could just be a psychological illusion given the uh, change in view, but it feels different in terms of the braking, but again, that could just be my imagination. It actually feels like you can get away with braking a little bit later, which is nice. So now skipping ahead, this is a uh, little close call with Buemi. Basically, Buemi and I dueled the majority of this race. In fact, you probably noticed on the opening lap there that uh, he was behind me the majority of the time. It looks like he's getting ready to get by me here, but I'm able to stay ahead right here. And then the big question, of course, coming down here is if I'm going to be able to maintain pace. Uh, there's definitely quite a few cars that are faster than me on this track. And that's completely evident by the huge train of cars behind me. Uh, the lap 4 disaster, or near disaster. Basically here in lap 4, still under pressure from Boemi. And you can see I've got just about a second lead on him. And as I'm trying to get my fuel mix back down to normal, I accidentally change my tire strategy to point to prime. So I'm 
fidgeting with the D-pad, trying to get that straightened out. Probably should have waited until I got to the long straight to sort it out, but in the meantime, in my confusion, Wemmy is able to get by me there on the inside. And so now I'm able to change my tire strategy back to options and able to pretty aggressively swing by Buemi. A little bit of a curb hop there, but no warning. And now just a matter of keeping Buemi behind me along the long straight here. See if he's able to make a move. Looks like he's gaining ground. Going to take a look at the inside. But no, we we'll, should be able to stay ahead of him. So... Basically, that would have been a complete disaster if I had pit uh, with those tire changes because I would have had to have gone back in to get the options to satisfy the regulations, but fortunately able to get it resolved. And Buemi's just been a pain in my uh, you-know-what since the start of the race, and he finally goes into pit, and hopefully that'll be the last of him. Now a little duel with Massa. So getting back to the format changes that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've decided to create these condensed race videos on top of the full length race videos and then do commentary for the shorter length ones finding that I just don't quite have enough time to do the 21 minute videos and if that changes or if my time opens up you know I might go back to doing the longer videos but for now uh, this is really all I have time for so you know I'm playing with different formats um, feeling things out trying new things so it's been it's been very fun uh, it's been something that's satisfied, uh, something that's been sort of missing in my life lately, which is probably just anything creative. And even though this is listed as my fastest time of the race, it's probably not my smoothest. I do find that there is a difference. There's a lot of factors that go into that, you know, including traffic and your tires and uh, just small mistakes, um, inconsistencies. Things of that nature. And this was all in all a pretty uneventful race. Uh, just kind of a grind. And actually I'm a little relieved about that because it gave me an opportunity to uh, really kind of test the boundaries of cockpit view and uh, sort of get my break points back in order. Um, I was a little fearful there could be a rain which would really complicate things. I have a really hard time with visibility in the rain and cockpit view, and I guess that's the whole point. Uh, it's very scary, but a lot of fun. And I'm sure we will at some point be seeing rain. I don't think that I've ever played a full season in this game without seeing rain. It's pretty much impossible, so... Uh, that'll definitely be a joyous occasion, I'm sure. I actually recently posted a uh, three-lap video uh, doing some co-op with my buddy and we did a three lap race in China I believe might be the very same track that I'm racing now and uh, it was brutal um, had a spin out um, he's uh, learning the ropes of the game so we were actually playing on intermediate so I opted to start at the uh, back of the grid uh, just because it's more fun that way and uh, it was a fun race you can check it out on my channel uh, but it was not pretty that's for sure and I surprised myself with this result, P6. Uh, very surprised and pretty much had everything to do with that really, really fast start where I was able to get through the uh, slow AI and the corkscrew chicane there. Uh, that was pretty much the difference in the race. So taking a look at the results here, Jensen Button getting a victory, Vettel second place. Of course I finished P6 and then my teammate finished 15th it looks like. We'll see how this affects the uh, driver rankings. I've been keeping track of the uh, AI results and benchmarking their uh, start and finish differentials just to sort of see what it looks like. Maybe to see if there's patterns in um, how, they are, how they finish, just out of curiosity. Uh, if you want to check that out, if you're a data nerd like me, you can find that on my website, apexhead.com. And I want to thank you guys for listening. I'm going to leave you with this uh, little highlight clip. And I will see you guys in Turkey.